today we're going to go over how to set up your first Bing Ads campaign. Um, after you create your Bing Ads account, um, set everything up, and then set up your billing, you're going to come to a screen that looks exactly like this one that has nothing really here for campaigns. It's going to say no data available, and you're going to have this message at the bottom, no campaigns yet. To get started, import your campaigns from Google AdWords or create a campaign. So what we want to do is create a campaign. Uh, we're going to have a separate video for how to import our campaigns to Google AdWords, but let's create a campaign. Um, so you're going to have some different goals that you have for different campaigns. You could do visits to your website, so basically you're bidding for clicks. Visits to business location, so that's good for a small business with a storefront. Uh, conversions in my website, so if you're driving, you know, trying to drive more leads, trying to drive more sales, you're going to pick the conversions. Um, and then phone calls and sell products are the other two options. So phone calls is pretty self-explanatory, and then sell products are going to be... Um, the Bing shopping campaigns, which are the product listing ads that show up in the search engine results. So let's just do visits to my website. I just want to drive clicks to my website, make it easy. Um, so to enter the name for our campaign, we're going to do a PPC marketing management campaign where I'm going to try to find people who are searching for PPC management companies like my own. So we're going to do a $20 daily budget. We'll keep what they have. Language will be English. Uh, let's just let's just target the United States. Let's search. All right, so now we're just targeting the United States instead of Canada as well. And here, who should see your ads? So people in your targeted locations. This is really what I recommend and use because people searching for or viewing pages about your targeted locations. It, it kind of opens it up. So let's say someone is in Mexico, for example, and they're searching all about the United States. They're planning on making a visit to, let's say, Florida. So they're searching about Florida vacations, all sorts of things about Florida. Now, let's say they search one of my keywords, PPC marketing management. Then my ad showing to someone in Mexico uh, for PPC marketing management. And I, I might not you know, necessarily want to have clients all over all over the world really because if someone's in Mexico they might be looking for Spanish speaking um, you know just different things that might that I might not have the capabilities to do so what I like to do is people in your targeted locations so only when people are inside the United States will my ad show to them and it'll keep people who are searching the United States this one um, from showing up in my ads so let's save and go to the next step uh, so my website URL Send them to my contact page. Ad group name, we're just going to go with PPC Marketing Management. And now keywords here. So what you can actually see here is they actually show you different keyword match types here. Um, so if you just enter keywords, what they're saying here is it will be broad match unless you use quotes. Quotes will indicate a phrase match keywords unless you use brackets. Brackets will indicate an exact match keyword. Um, so the other thing you have over here is they have like recommended searches that you can use, but I, I'm just going to target a couple keywords here. So one of the options they didn't show was modified broad match where you put plus signs in front of your keywords. So what I'm going to do is PPC marketing management. And what that's basically saying to Bing is that when someone types in any form of PPC marketing management, that my ad's going to show up. So if they type PPC marketing management companies, the best PPC marketing management, PPC marketing management 2017, my ad's going to show up for all those. But if someone types in PPC marketing agency, then it's not going to match because I told them specifically I need these three words to be in the search query. Otherwise, I don't want my ad to match that. So that's basically what modified broad says, uh, modified broad match. Um, so let's just do a couple different keywords here. Go company. Now let's just say I want these two keywords in my in my ad group, and let's say I want to do the modified broad match versions and the exact match version. So let's go with the exact match. So that's going to be with the brackets. So you go PPC marketing management and PPC marketing management company. So now I have two modified broad match keywords 
and two exact match keywords. Um, so these match the exact search query. So if someone types in PPC marketing management company, that's the only time that my ad will show for that person. So that's pretty much it um, to add a new ad group. You can come over here and do different things over here. Um, I can save and go to the next step, but I actually want to add one more ad group just to show another example. Um, so we have our first ad group here is PPC marketing management. Um, our second ad group, we're going to do PPC advertising agency. So we're going to do the same thing over here with our modified broad match keywords. Oop, forgot my plus signs. And the plus signs are really important because if you do forget them, your keywords are going to start matching things that you might not want them to match. Yeah, let's, just, let's go best. Okay, so now I have two modified broad match keywords. Now we're going to add our exact match keywords. Okay, so now just like the other ad group, um, so now I have this one saved here, and what I'm going to do is save and go to the next step. So now I have my two ad groups down alongside here. You'll see uh, PPC Marketing Management was the first one we made with these the four keywords, um, and then PPC Advertising Agency we made, and that one has four keywords as well. So what we're going to do is create ads for these keywords. Uh, so the new types of ads are expanded text ads, and I know AdWords is going to be getting rid of regular text ads in the beginning of beginning or end of January, and I'm sure Bing will follow suit. So really, we're just going to add two expanded text ads. Um, so for PPC marketing management, we're going to make this very simple. All right, and then contact Surfside PPC today. That's basically it for an ad. Um, do a little exclamation point, and you'll see it over here. I just got to do my. Uh, don't want to skip this field. Okay, so that's what we're going to use as our final URL is going to be that landing page. Um, the mobile URL is, isn't any different, and you don't need to add one unless it is different. So let's save. So now we have our ad here. Um, it's an expanded text ad from PPC Marketing Management. And really what we want to do is match the ad right to our keywords, match the landing, or match the ad group here. And in a perfect world, what we do is when someone clicks through to this ad and clicks through to my website, they're going to see a page that really resembles PPC Marketing Management, a contact form, why they want to choose my company. And that's really important because... If I send them like to my home page or or maybe my blog or something that's not really related to to my company managing their PPC campaigns, then they're not going to really be it, it's not going to flow well. And what you're going to end up doing is losing conversions and losing overall engagement um, from people who and you're paying for that traffic. So for people who are coming through, you want the user experience to be perfect so that you get more contacts, you get more leads, you get more phone calls. Um, so that's our first ad. Our second one is going to be for PPC Advertising Agency. Let's create this one here. So this one's PPC Advertising Agency. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the last one. I usually tend to make my ads very similar to each other. And what I try to do is just match the ad group, the keyword, to the to the ad itself, so that you kind of, when people type in PPC marketing company, they're not going to want to see this. Well, they might want to see this ad, but it's not going to be as like laser focused and laser targeted as, you know, PPC marketing company. It's why you don't put 200 keywords in a single ad group. You want to kind of split things up so that they really match what people are searching. So we're gonna do the same thing we did in the last one the best and we're going to do PPC advertising agency this time and usually you'd want to use more of your characters but this I'm just going to show you an example here so let's save 
So now we have our ad group, our keywords, and one ad for each ad group. A best practice is adding two ads for each ad group, but for this example, we're just going to do one. Um, there are ad extensions. Um, we're not going to do these right now. I would usually set up site link extensions to get started and then call out extensions. And those are usually the two I generally do. Structured snippets you can do. Um, and then I'd probably do call extensions as well where I add a phone number to my ad, but I'm not going to do that right now. So we're going to save and go to the next step. Okay, so our budget's here, $20 for the budget. Um, how we're going to do our bid strategy. So we're going to do a manual CPC and they're going to use our bid. Um, so right here you can set a bid for the ad group and they'll actually show you some estimated impressions and estimated spend, different things of that nature. And generally if they're not showing much here, it's probably because the bid is a little too low. So let's just put the bid up to $10. These are really competitive keywords. Uh, they might have an issue with being able to show estimates. Okay, so this is basically based on our bid and budget. If you want to see estimates, you're going to have to increase the budget too. Um, so, yeah, you'll see this one goes up a little bit. And you'll get 56 impressions. Estimated spend is, is going to be fairly high because these are really competitive keywords. Um, and estimated clicks over here is 13. So basically, it's saying for 13 clicks, I'm spending you know about $3.50 a click. This is how much I'm going to spend, um, which isn't actually terrible. So that's basically it. So now we're bidding $10 for all the keywords in the ad groups. And we're going to save it here. So now we have our first campaign, PPC Marketing Management. Um, if you click this drop-down arrow, we got our two ad groups. So you'll see the keywords we're targeting here, the match types, exact and broad. These are modify broad. Um, what I like to do is bid a little bit higher on my exact match keywords. So let's go to $10.50. If you don't bid higher on your exact match keywords, then what you're going to have is this exact keyword is going to match to this keyword, and you kind of just have a lot of your data. It's not going to be perfect, because if this is a little bit higher here, this $10.50 bid, then then most of these exact keywords will come right into, into here for your data, and you'll be able to see better kind of to make um, optimizations and things of that nature. So I like to bid a little bit higher on the exact keywords, um, especially if they're very popular. These aren't extremely popular. I mean, they get a good amount of searches, but if you're, you know, if it's something like white shoes and you're doing the exact match, you'll definitely want to do exact and broad because that's going to get so many, so many ad impressions and you'll be able to tell if it's even worth bidding on the exact match keyword or not. So that's pretty much it. We have our changes in here. Uh, so we have our campaign. It's set at $20 a day. We have two different ad groups. Um, within each ad group are four keywords that we're targeting. And when people type those keywords into Bing, this ad is going to show up for them. And basically all we do now is, is we wait for, for to get some activity. Um, usually you want to let your, your campaigns run for at least a week. Um, I mean, you can make little changes, increasing the bids here and there. But you don't want to really make too many changes um, right away because it becomes more difficult to optimize when you don't actually allow it to bring in data. So that's how you set up your first Bing Ads campaign. Um, it's pretty simple. You kind of go through the process of naming your campaigns, doing the settings, creating your ad groups, creating the keywords you want to target, and then creating ads. And then basically once you hit submit, you just wait for some activity to come in and you start managing your campaigns that way. So hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you uh, Go and create your first Bing Ads campaign. It's very simple. I'm a huge fan of Bing Ads, and I definitely recommend it to anybody with a business who's looking for PPC advertising. So thank you for watching today. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to have more videos coming out in the future about pretty much everything with AdWords and Bing Ads, so make sure you stay tuned.